Yes guys, welcome back to another video I'm doing here on the channel. Today we are back with another St Albans video and I'm very excited to start the working week with a St Albans episode for you guys. Since the last video we did, things have been going relatively well. We had the FA Trophy specials the last episode. A couple of wins, a couple of draws and a defeat in there. Um, yeah, pretty happy with how things are going. Obviously today we have the fourth round of the FA Trophy against Aldershot and a big league game against Haven and Waterlooville. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get straight into, I've done all this haven't I, yeah, we'll get straight into the um, the video, straight into the game, this massive FA Trophy game and the team we put out there today to hope that victory is Hoskins in goal, we have a back four of Alfieri, Thomason, Ward and Bender, we have Akinola, Adibai and Brown in central midfield with Banton on the right, Clark down the left and um, Sean Jeffers up front, for some reason I want to say Sam Jeffers then but his name is Sean Jeffers. I don't know where I've got Sam from, um, but yeah, hopefully today we can put in a good performance, pick up the victory and um, and go through another round of this trophy. Obviously we seem to be liking the cup tournament so far this series, obviously it's our first season with St Albans and we're doing very well, fourth round of the trophy is a good way to start off the St Albans career. Obviously, we're away against Aldershot, Aldershot in the league above us. So it's going to be a big game. It's going to be a tough game. And we're going to have to, you know, use every ounce of energy that we've got and somehow just pull off an upset and, and hope that we can win. Because um, that would be the best best thing for us, as I'm saying, that we conceded. Um Obviously, the football manager gods have heard me talking about how we need to play well and win, and and I've thought no, and that's not going to be happening today. Uh, good goal. I don't like it when the keeper's beaten at the near post. I can't lie. James Hoskins, I blame for that goal. Maybe I'm being too harsh on him, but I hate it when the goalkeeper's beaten at his near post. He should be should be doing better with that one. But not to worry, obviously it's such an early goal, three minutes into the game, it gives us time to to readjust and, and go again and, and hope that we can get ourselves back in into this cup tie. Obviously a big game, all the short a good side. They know that um that they obviously in, in 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 the league above and they know that they're probably a better team. Maybe that puts a bit of pressure on them to to put in a performance against us. But we don't change the way we play um in, in the face of of coming up against the better team, we play how we want to play, and and hopefully, like I said, multiple times already, because there seems to be so many highlights so far in this game for so early on. But as I've said, hopefully we can win and, and go through to the next round of this trophy. Aldershot obviously dominating there; they're dominating us here, and uh, and are doing very well on the ball, even off it as well, sort of keeping us. To having to work for our possession as opposed to just knocking the ball around how we would usually want to, having to work for it um, in just the way all the shots are set up and the way that they're playing. We've obviously made changes going into this game. We're obviously not used to, like we're a non league outfit part time, you know, a couple of maybe one training session a week and again, and you know, especially if we've got games to play as well. So, Obviously, we're not used to the high volume of games that obviously going going in this in deep into this tournament brings. But changes have been made. We've got a big squad, and and, and hopefully the players that have come in today can do us proud. We seem to be knocking the ball around nicely, and Adibai is through on goal, and he shoots. That's our first attempt of the game, and perhaps should do better there. Um, it was a poor attempt in the end. And something that perhaps we need to look at finishing off these chances. Because we're not going to get too many of them, that's the thing. It's going to be a long second half now for us. Even longer than that first half. Um, especially if they get another goal. So we have to stay defensively strong. But we need to start creating things. You know, 61 minutes into the game, we've had one shot. It's just not how I expect us to be playing. 
even if you know we're playing against a better team, a team in the league above that are clearly more experienced and just better players than us, I still expect us to be to be trying to um, get ourselves back in to the game. And, and Hoskins again has just completely cost us the two 0 now. And, and James Hoskins will be dropped for the next game because this is just unacceptable. The first goal, we could argue, you know, I'm being harsh and, and, and it's a tougher chance to save. But this, this is easy. This is bread and butter saving. I mean, look at that. That is shocking. And um, and he's let us down. And he certainly won't be playing for us in the next game. We're going to f demand more from the entire team. Do a touchline shout. Um, because, you know, we've just been not been good enough today. And... It's, it's, it's upsetting because, you know, this is a good chance to to progress in through another round of this tournament. And we haven't put in a performance worthy of doing that. Um, and, and, you know, you say, oh, we're the away team. We're playing the better, more experienced size, you know. But at the end of the day, it's a game where we need to be more competitive in it. We haven't, we haven't competed. We haven't made it hard for them at all. They've just literally had... It all their own way and done what they wanted and we've just kind of just sat there and thought well go on then do what you got to do um, and obviously their man has got two goals uh, and oh it's just annoying there's a third goal it's just gone in now and we're going to bring Sean Jeffers off for Victor Fundy Sean Jeffers is that's down up front today uh, Zane Banton as well has been poor bring Sanchez Watt on for him and also, Romeo Akinola has been dreadful. We'll bring Sundire on. All three changes being made. And it's not even like that we're looking at the players that are tired and thinking of bringing them off. It's literally just poor performances across the board from us. And the more experienced, better team has punished us for them. Oh, they've got another goal. No, it's disallowed for handball. If that's handball, where is the... Is that not a booking or anything? Intentional handball? Oh, well, he has been booked. Fair enough. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to need some improvement before our league game coming up after this one. Um, it's having a Waterlooville, their eighth in the division. Well, they was going into, into this game. I, I checked. And they're eighth, so what a better performance is needed. And yeah, I mean, it's there's been a lot of highlights in this game. For three goals, there's been a lot of highlights. Um, this has been a long game. In football manager terms, Victor Fundy's running with the ball. He crossed it in. Clark with the header, and that's just over the bar. Um, but 13 attempts to three is just, it, that's the difference. They've had four attempts on target, scored three goals. We've had four attempts and not got one on target. You know, it's just, yeah, game over. Well done, all the shot. Poor performance from us. Back to the drawing board, back to thinking things through going to need improvements but yeah I mean not to worry we will be back in just a moment with the league game against having the Mort Louisville in just a second yes yeah, so we're back the second game of the video against St against St Albans, that's us, against having at Waterlooville in the league. The team we put out there today to hope for the victory is LeBird Hines in goal. We have a back four of Harper, Parker, Ward and Bender. We have Sundai, Breen and Noble in central midfield with Simo on the right, Clark down the left and Victor Fundy up front. And this is going to be a big game for us. We have to win. Um, no sort of other result is acceptable, especially after our performance against Aldershot in the FA Trophy, that was just a poor, poor game all round and something we're not looking to, we're not looking to repeat here today. And yeah, obviously it's good to have certain players back in the team that we didn't have available for that FA Trophy game uh, and, and just to 
hopefully get back to winning ways. Obviously, as we said at the start of this one, and what Louisville are a good side, they're just below us in the table, battling for that, those playoff spots early on in the season. So it's going to be it's going to be an interesting game, especially obviously us being the away side as well. Adds an extra bit of spice to the to the game, and and we know that a win is doable, but we need to we need to remember that we're playing against a good side here who can can punish us at a moment's notice. I mean, to be fair, there's been no no highlights. Well, I mean, they've literally just scored as I'm saying that, but there's been hardly any highlights in that first half. Um, a quick first half in football manager terms, but we have conceded a goal, and and that's frustrating. It was a good goal as well. To be fair, there's not really much we can have to complain about here. A good strike, a good goal, and we are losing once again. They demand more from the team, and quite a few of them aren't very happy with that touchline shout but you know we need to start winning games again you know good save from the bird Hines keeps us in the game because it's sloppy play from us there and they were through on goal they've got the corner now so they could even potentially score from the corner danger is still not sort of out of our area but we have now cleared it and we are now running that's a foul and we've got a free kick, but it's not a highlight worthy free kick apparently. And haven't again on the attack in deep in our half. And another long shot. And is that safe? No, it was off the post. It's looking like time to make a change to the team. We are not playing very well at all. Again, it's frustrating, it's happening again. We'll bring Sean Jeffers on for Victor Fundy. We'll bring Sanchez Watt on for Ray and Clark. And we will bring Adibai on for Jack Breen. We'll give a little team talk to the boys. Just to try and hope that they can come onto the pitch and make a difference. We're also going to do a touchline shout to individuals. We are going to no pressure to Sundire, to Noble and to Sanchez Watt, all players that aren't particularly, their body language isn't showing very positively in the hope that they can sort of pick themselves up and get, get themselves back into this game and in, in turn get us back into this game because it's looking like a, a, a defeat here away from home. David Noble now with the free kick, he whips it into the box. Good defending and now they are on the counter-attack and they are running through dangerously now coming into our box. Is anyone going to put a tackle in? Well, Bender tried to and he's given away a penalty and that is just the way it's going for us at the moment and They've now got the penalty in the 85th minute of the game and they score it well. And that's game over. 85th minute, 2-0 to Haven and Waterlooville. I mean, they've got a good set of fans. I've just noticed how many fans they've got over in that far, that far stand, that standing area stand. Quite a few fans there, you know. Fair play. Um, uh, yeah, it's, the game is over now at this point. I've just got to wait for the ref to do the honours, and there he has done the honours, and that's the full time whistle. And it's another defeat, a double defeat. Frustrating, frustrating. Okay, right, so not the best of results, those two games in the video. We now have to play Braintree, who are third in the division. Um, but that will be done off camera. We will be back probably around here. Billericay, fifth in the division, Dorking eighth, or Maidstone first. So it could be that Dorking and Maidstone fixtures. Um, but yeah, that is today's video done. If you have enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. 
and and yeah, apologies about the two defeats for St Albans, but not to worry, we'll, uh, we will bounce back on our next video, and I'll see you for our next video soon. Cheers.